All right, we'll do our warm ups and some hmm, kind of different things today. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up for our mountain pose. Get your core activated. We'll be using that some today. So ribs toward your spine and up and shoulders back and down. Take a moment, just breathing. Reach your head toward the ceiling. Feel that spine lengthen. And bring your focus inward as you breathe. Exhale any stress or tension. And then inhale, arms reaching out. Hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front. Keep the shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart. Stretch your head back and pivot at your hips. Exhale on over. Deepen as far as you'd like, getting that back stretching a little bit. Move your head around, move your neck. Get things releasing through that neck area. And then bend your knees slightly and work your way up. So just slowly wind from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top and then lift your heart. So stretch your head back, but don't lift your chin too high and drop your shoulders down so that you're letting that whole chest area expand. And then inhale upright and release back into mountain pose. Take a moment, feel your body, spread your toes, and again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So lift your heart and drop your shoulders in the back bend and pivot over as you exhale. And again, deepen as much as you'd like, lifting your sitting bones, getting a stretch on the back of your legs this time. Hands toward your head, getting those shoulders starting to lubricate. And then knees bent, coming on back up and lifting your heart. And again, a nice upper body back bend, stretching your head, stretching your spine, lengthening through your whole body. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just feeling that circulation increase. Side stretches, so again, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp them and bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch out through the head, Keep the shoulders and hips facing front and lean to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Feel those ribs stretch maybe a little bit more. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale back up. Keep the shoulders down and switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms next to your ears. Stretch it out and lean, no twist, so don't lean forward and go to the side put down hands and head reaching away feeling that extension through the side and again coming up release back into mountain pose just take a moment feeling the size of your body more expanded and then expand your spine so remember the base of the skull base of the spine stretch apart for our twist Arms again, shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Arms next to your ears, sitting bones and spine stretching apart, and turn to your twist in one direction. Take a breath, and then exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like, spreading your toes, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Arms next to your ears and slowly in the twist, work your way up. And as you get to the top, lift your heart, but don't overdo your low back while you're going into this back bend. Elbows back, shoulders down. Take a moment and breathe. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms. And again, lengthen through the spine and twist to the opposite side. A breath in and exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like on this side. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And again, coming up in the twist, work your way slowly to the top, 
and then lift your heart. Shoulders down, take a moment to breathe, lifting through the chest. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up into extended mountain. Lengthen, spread your toes, feel both feet evenly supporting you. And then swan dive forward, so pivot at your hips, chest leading, coming all the way parallel to the floor. Keep the shoulder blades toward your waist. Stretch the sitting bones and crown apart. And then drop into ragdoll. Take a moment there or even deeper with your hands behind your legs. Just get that back stretching a little bit. Arms back to the center. And another roll up from the bottom of your spine, slowly to the top and into mountain pose. As you get back into your standing position, just take a moment feeling your spine all activated in its different directions and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling. Thumbs coming back, following them, lifting your heart, coming into another back bend as gently or nicely as you'd like. And again, let's swan dive, arms out, palms facing the floor as you pivot to the front. Stretch it out long. Stay there parallel to the floor, keeping your shoulders toward your waist, head reaching away from your sitting bones. Stretch the spine apart. We're just going to pivot into a twist. So turn your whole body. The hip you're turning toward goes slightly up, but both feet stay down. And the hands right across from each other, just pivoting toward the side. Hips, ribs, and shoulder turning along with your head not just your neck. And then exhale, turning back to the center. Arms straight out at shoulder level again. Keep those shoulder blades toward your waist and lengthening through the spine. And we'll twist the other way. Again, arms right across from each other as much as you can keep them. Turning hips, ribs, and shoulder, looking to the side. Take a breath, stretch those fingers away from each other. And exhale again, turning back to the center. Stretch those arms out. And pivot back up. Turn the palms toward the ceiling and look up. Hands together overhead. And hands to your heart. Take a moment and breathe. And release the arms. Exhaling any tension. Feel your body a little bit more activated and energized. And let's bring the hands to the heart again. So inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling. Swan dive forward, pivoting over. Hands coming up under your knees, stretching in that halfway up stretch. And bending your knees, come to the floor to child pose. So sink your hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Get a good stretch on your whole body. Exhale any tension. And then bring your hands out to the front, right in front of your shoulders. Plant the palms, pivot up, bring your knees hip width apart, right under your hips, toes straight back. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees. Pull your chest back toward your thighs, arms next to your ears and come back. And then lift your hips and drop your heels, coming into down dog. So your head reaches toward your hands. Your spine is as straight as you can get it, lifting those sitting bones up and back as you sink your heels down and straighten your knees as much as you can. Get weight evenly into your hands and feet. Take a breath, activate your core, and then lifting your heels, exhale, and slowly bring your knees back to the floor, flatten your toes down, and again, sink back, extended wisdom pose, head to the floor. Take a moment and breathe, stretching it out. And then inhale up, sitting on your heels, Turn your fingertips toward the front, next to your feet. 
And then put a little pressure into your fingertips or palms if that works for your hands and lift your heart. Looking up, drop your shoulder blades. So a little upper body back bend as you're in that mini position. Take a breath and just lift your chest. Don't lift your chin too high. Keep stretching the back of your neck. And then head back upright, releasing your hands and clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands toward the floor. Rotate your shoulders back and down. Open your chest and then inhale. And as you exhale, pivot forward. So coming, you can lift your hips off your heels if you need to or leave them down either way. Bring your hands toward your head and head toward the floor. Coming all the way down into this motion as much as your body wants. So rotating those shoulders slightly as you come down. Or head toward the floor or to the floor if that works for you. And just relax, forehead down, little inversion. And then face to the front, sinking your hips back toward your heels, bringing your hands back down toward your feet and release your arms. Take a moment feeling that upper body a little more activated and don't forget to breathe. And then bring your hands again behind you, clasp them the opposite way. So whichever way, finger on the up opposite outside. And again, hands toward the floor, lift your heart, stretch your head back. Don't lift your chin too high, stretch through the whole spine. Exhale and pivot over again. And once again, you can lift your hips if that helps or not if you choose. And again, forehead toward the floor as those hands go toward your head, letting those shoulders get a little more rotation. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling any tightness. And then face to the front, inhaling, hands coming down as your hips go back towards your heels, sitting back up and releasing your hands. And again, just take a moment, feel a little bit more activated through the shoulders as we slide off our heels and bring the legs out to the front to the end of the mat into step position. So feel your core, keep it activated, supporting your low back. And we're going to do a couple of things. So bring your hands again, fingertips toward your toes under your shoulders. And we're going to push into the hands, rotate the bottoms of the feet toward the floor, feet hip width apart ish, and lift your hips so that you come into a reverse plank. So your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders should line up as much as you can, activating that core. So pressing into your hands, lifting the hips, rotating those bottoms of your feet toward the floor, reach the toes away and the head opposite as you rotate those shoulder blades down toward your waist as you're in your reverse plank. Take a moment and breathe as much as you can. Make sure those hands are right under your shoulders supporting you. And then exhaling slowly, bring your hips back down rotating your toes up, releasing your arms, coming back into staff position, spine nice and straight. Take a moment and breathe, exhaling any tightness. Rotate your wrists, move your arms around, get them a little bit more flexible as you breathe. Let's try that once more. So make sure your feet are about hip width apart. Hands right under your shoulders. Remember, if you get into a position and it feels wrong, change your position. Go back down to where we started. Move your hands to where you think they would support you better and work from there. Take a moment and breathe, pressing into your hands. Inhale, lifting those hips, rotating those toes down. And again, looking up straight toward the ceiling, not leaning the head too far back. And getting a straight align from your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders as you can. Take a breath, get that core working, kind of lift through the ribs. Don't forget to breathe. And exhale, hips coming back down. Release your hands back into stamped position. Take a moment, pressing out through the heels. 
and then bend one knee and pull it in, wrap your arms around, pull your knee toward your chest, exhale and release that leg, and do the same with the other leg. Bring the heel in, wrap your arms around the leg, pull the chip, knee toward the chest. Get a good stretch and exhale, foot back to the center. So again, in staff position, just take a moment breathing. And then we're gonna go up into reverse table. So again, the hands go the same way, fingertips toward your toes under your shoulders. This time we're gonna bend the knees and bring the feet in at hip width apart, knees straight up. So don't let the knees flop apart or together, but straight up. And then pressing into your hands, bring your ankles or your knees over your ankles and lift your hips up, coming into that as flat a position as you can, getting that core activated, supporting your spine and look straight up. So don't tip your head back. Make sure your knees, hips, and shoulders this time line up and those feet are right under your knees. Wrists right under your shoulders. Take a breath, lift the hips and the ribs. Get everything as straight as you can. Activate that core to support your spine. And then again, exhale and bring the hips down. Release the legs back to the front. Get those wrists circling and releasing through the arms and shoulders. Sorry, Sandy, I guess we did do a little bit of weight there. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension. And we'll do that same thing once more. Yeah, so hands under your shoulders, bending your knees, feet right on the floor, hip width apart, straight in front of your hips, knees straight up toward the ceiling. Press into the ball of your foot and heels as you lift, pushing those knees right over your ankles, lifting the hips, rotating those shoulder blades once more toward your waist as you straighten your elbows and look up. And again, a straight line from your knees through your hips and your shoulders. Try not to sag through the low back, but keep those ribs up and that core activated. Take a breath, stretching the spine long. Breathe into it, pressing into your feet and your hands as evenly as you can. And again, exhaling, slowly bring your hips down. And again, slide the legs forward, releasing your arms. And again, activate those wrists, just relaxing, strengthening everything. Yes, because occasionally we do need that strength building. Take a moment and breathe, exhale any tension. We're just gonna roll back down onto the floor. Yeah. So no more strength building for those arms today. Take a moment and breathe as you get into corpse position, just relaxing, a little recline integration, moving your head side to side, moving your shoulders and hands, maybe palms up at your side, letting those shoulders release a little bit. And then sitting bones towards your heels, Press your back gently down and bend your knees. Again, knees straight up toward the ceiling, heels right next to your sitting bones. Spread your toes, get the bottoms of your feet activated. So keep the knees straight up. Remember, you wanna make sure that they're not spreading apart or angling in together, but just straight up, hands, palms down at your side, shoulder blades toward your waist, shoulders down toward the floor. We're going to go up into a bridge. So take a moment and breathe. Spread your toes. Exhale, just a gentle press down through your back. And then as you inhale, lift your hips. So coming into bridge. Again, knees, hips, and shoulder line up as much as you can. Just a nice little straight bridge as you come into that position. Arms and shoulders are supporting you along with your feet. Spread your toes. And then if you want, you can clasp your hands under, bring that little finger on the inside and put the edges of your hands down along with your arms 
to work up a little higher onto your shoulders if you'd like. So lifting your hips, make sure your head is on the floor, not your neck, and your shoulders, arms, and feet are supporting you as you lift those hips. Core is activated, supporting your spine. Spread your toes, get the weight into your feet as much as your shoulders, and breathe. And as you exhale, release your hands, release the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the ribs, and the spine all the way back down. Take a breath, exhale in tightness. And we'll do that once more, but this time, remember, instead of having the one finger that was inside, clasp your hands the other way with the opposite little finger inside. So hands, palms down at your sides, feet hip width apart. And again, sitting by slightly down toward your heels, back pressing down, gently pressing to your hands. And as you exhale, go ahead, lift those hip bones and come into your bridge. Clasp your hands the opposite way. So whichever finger was outside before, put the other one on the outside and tip it into the middle of your palm. Work up onto your shoulders more. So remember, you're on your shoulders, not your neck. Your head is still on the floor and your feet are supporting you evenly along with your shoulders and arms. Hips lifting, ribs lifting. Get everything as straight a line as you can and breathe into it. Spread your toes, get weight into your feet as much as your arms and hands and don't forget to breathe. And again, maximize or minimize for your body pressing into those arms and shoulders. Releasing your hands, release the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the ribs, and come down to the floor. Exhale any tension. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Draw your knees up toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug once. Just giving a stretch to that back. And then again, bringing the feet to the floor, plant the feet. Exhale, pressing the back down. And we're just arching up the ribs, drawing those sitting bones slightly toward your shoulder blades, getting a space under your back for a little back strength run. Exhaling, pressing down. Feel those ribs sinking and that core contracting. And then inhale, sitting bones coming back toward your shoulder blades and lifting the ribs, getting as much space as feels right for your back. Just a little back strengthener for our practice today. And then release that back to a neutral position. You can bring your hands to T position for our twist. So bring your back to the floor, lift your feet. You can keep the knees together or cross the legs over if you want a little more low back stretch. And bring the knee over at shoulder level, no, at hip level, keeping the shoulders down and turning your head at shoulder level to look toward that opposite arm. And again, just relax into your position as you're in your twist, because remember, twists are personal practice that you just allow to happen. You don't ever force them. Knee coming toward the floor as much as it wants. You can put a pillow under you if it needs a little support to make it less intense in that low back. And the more you turn your head, remember you're working that neck area. So again, be gentle if that area is sensitive for you. Shoulders down for your middle back twist, just breathing into it and relaxing. Exhaling any tightness or tension as you breathe. And of course, hold these as long as you like on your own. But for now, heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back. If you crossed your legs, Cross them the other way as we do the opposite side. So again, knee over or next to each other, rolling down at hip level, turning your head in the opposite direction. And again, just knees coming as far toward the floor as they want, naturally breathing, deepening your breath, exhaling, letting everything relax as you let those shoulders come down toward the floor for that middle back twist. Head turning only as much as your neck needs and wants, and the knee coming with gravity toward the floor, 
as your body is willing to do that. Never force your twist, just let it happen. Allowing everything to release and relax. Lots of middle back body work today, as well as your shoulders. But just let everything release any tightness out of your body. And then again, heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back and cross your legs, feet to the floor, and then slide the legs out, coming into our final relaxation corpse position. Shoulders down, hands palms up. Take a moment to move your fingers, your wrists, your ankles and your toes. Breathe in, exhaling any tightness in those areas. And then moving up the legs and arms, just release the hips and shoulders, everything relaxing, softening your body, letting it sink. Move your head side to side, again, letting that neck release any tightness. Rolling your chin down towards your chest and over to one side, and then back to the center and over to the other side. And coming back to a neutral position in the middle, just let everything release, sinking deeper into that first support as you breathe deep. Exhaling tension and let your body go. Soften your belly, soften your hips and shoulders. Just let your body sink deeper as it will into the earth. Lots of work today in the feet and ankles, legs and shoulders, and hands and wrists. So let that whole body just soften and deepen into the earth support. And as your body relaxes completely, just let awareness of your body release from your attention. And as you do, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. Breathe in deep, letting the thoughts float away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let everything go. Relaxing completely, deepening into that earth support, letting your mind just float, allowing everything to release and relax into that inner awareness only of peace. If your relaxation today feels extra good, just keep relaxing as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just beginning drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Or move your body gently as you reactivate everything, breathing more fully and stretching more completely as you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your foot. Wrap your arms around once more for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side and sit back up. Getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.